Good morning. I'm super excited to share with you guys who's going to be joining us today. So Yessi and I well, have been doing lives, and today we've got, oh, I guess he's in the box. My co-host is in the box. So just waiting for them to join right now. Let's see. Hi, good morning. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Doing coffee this morning, much needed. Um, let me try that again. I think I sent it right. I sent the request to invite purple first, and then we'll get you guys on. Oh, what does it say? Here we go. Okay. I think she's going live right now. I just accepted. There you are. Good morning. Oh my gosh. Literally just getting in. <laughs> Literally, I just got in. 25 hours today. 25 hours from Florida to Jersey. And how long is it normally supposed to take? No. A lot less. It was only like <laughs> a lot less. Like 15 only. 15, 16, and then much. everything that happens in between. And, you know, <laughs> being me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I'm glad you guys made it safe, though. Seriously. I like woke up and I was yeah. like, oh my gosh, yeah, you haven't yeah. heard from her. What if you're stranded in some <laughs> middle of nowhere? <laughs> I mean, basically, middle of nowhere, basically. Yeah. Well, do you want to tell everybody or do we just bring her on? And... I'm excited. We're excited to have her on. I know, me too. Okay, let's see. Oh. I can figure it out. Here we go. Okay, so I just sent the invite. What are you drinking? Oh, morning. Yesterday. Uh, morning. Good morning. Oh, morning. Good morning. Hi. So excited. <laughs> morning cheers to you. Thank you for having me. Yes, morning cheers. Caffeinated cheers, Yessie. I don't know, whatever you need at this point. She's 25 hours <laughs> oh. driving home. Yeah, so you might need more than just coffee. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's just water. <laughs> mm. Hydrating. I'm still trying to fix my camera. Yeah. Okay, no worries. Hey, yo, Milo. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, getting situated and set up and sending all the waves, all the good mornings. I didn't even know you can have a live with three people. That's cool. Yeah, you can have it up to four. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so, Lisa's to get it going, to get it How's started. everything? Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. So, Michelle, uh, I'm so excited to have you here. Out. Talk to us. Tell us. Yeah, well, she gets her. I already got my mess <laughs> situated. Uh, talk to us about you and Ghost Fox and all the exciting stuff. We are here for everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like this. Video. Oh my God, Latinas everywhere, let's go. I love it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> let's go. Good morning, Angel Jacob. Yes, let's go, let's go. Okay, so I'm I'm Michelle, um, Michelle Delgado from Ghost Fox Toys. Um, Ghost Fox Toys is me and my husband. We've been doing this together for five years. Uh, about, I think this is going on year five or six, I don't know. <laughs> but we, we were, before we were together, we were long time artists. And yeah, so I mostly do the painting and I do 
uh, designing with Ghost Fox Toys. And I've been doing a lot more illustrating on my own, even though it's still under the Ghost Fox like uh, umbrella. Mm -hmm. We started getting into the NFT space, kind of creeping in. Um, and that, it's kind of cool. It's been cool. Uh, but yeah, toys are bread and butter. Toys pay the bill. <laughs> yeah. And you can see behind us, this is just our collection. We might have one or two of our toys behind us. And then I have a bunch of stuff that we sold yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. No, Friday. Friday. I don't mm -hmm. know what day. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just yeah. hanging out, getting ready to be packed. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, you had so many amazing pieces drop for the Friday. What is it called? Como se llama? Free shipping Fridays? Is that what you call it? Yeah. yeah. So if someone wants to buy one sticker, it's free shipping. If they want to buy like... <laughs> Eating things, it's still free shipping. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That's cool. So you guys both were doing art before. How, how's Ollie doing with art? Is he ready for it? Is he, like, over it? How does... <laughs> <laughs> A little over it just because he sees mom and dad do it all day. So he's just... He's, like, here, and he's just kind of, like... I want to do something cooler because <laughs> you guys are just there painting and stuff. <laughs> um, he's, uh, he does take interest here and there. And like, um, he discovered Procreate on the iPad. And of course, like, oh, his nice. would be into like digital, <laughs> digital drawing instead of a uh, real drawing. Yeah. So he does like scribble on the, on the Procreate. And what else? He, sometimes he likes to play with clay, but he says, Look, I'm I'm making molds, like because he knows like Gino <gasps> makes molds. Yeah, I'm making molds. So that's cute. That is but, super uh, cute. He's more like uh, he's more athletic at this point, which is gonna let him hard on him. Uh, had his first soccer practice yesterday, so that was super cute. He's like he's so good, you could tell, and that's why we we try to become for him because <laughs> we know we have to like get up and like, other uh, activities and so today wasn't as hard for me to wake up but a few weeks ago or when was like oh it's at 9 a.m. I was like <laughs> <laughs> but like we've gotten up early four days in a row and I'm already like oh yeah we're morning people now it's like oh, oh yeah four days <laughs> Like totally morning, morning people now. <laughs> no, you guys are going to end up like even more caffeinated. That's like me because it's like to stay. Oh, I think we're having connection issues. Yeah, to maintain because I've got the I still have my day job and I do art afterwards. So it's like I need all the energy because I keep on that same morning routine. Yeah. And it's like, oh, my gosh, the juggling. Ugh, it's intense. <laughs> <laughs> but that's exciting that he's doing soccer that's awesome yeah and then he starts pre-k in august which if you would ask me in january i was like all sad about it i was like no he's gonna be gone all day i'm not gonna know what he's doing but now i'm like we saw his school yesterday too so it's like i'm more excited like all right cool because he needs to be around people that are not his weird parents <laughs> he's gonna learn and he's gonna have fun and then it'll probably make us more productive like because he'll go to school. Yeah. Work, 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 work. And then when he's off school, we could actually turn our work brains off earlier. Like, okay, we got like seven uninterrupted hours of work. And now mm -hmm. it's just shut off and let's just family time. Yeah. Instead of being the two throughout the day, it was just kind of hard. Like, you, we like work, work, work. And then we take a break to do something family wise and come back. Yeah. That transition in and out that itself takes like some a lot of time and mental brain power to to do the two so yeah, yeah. We're excited. it's gonna be some, some cool stuff coming <laughs> oh absolutely i know if you guys were this productive before with a toddler running around <laughs> imagine how much more productive you're gonna be <laughs> yeah because even with oh, my me? mine are older they're uh 12 and uh nine and so they are still kind of independent. They're self-sufficient. There's times where they get into it and then I have to get in the mix. But for the most part, they're kind of just doing their own thing. And it's still, I have to take a break. I have to figure things out. I have to, so it's, it's not as consistent as having, like you said, the seven hours to yourself. 
Yeah. Oh, you're, you're, for all you have going to, you're just like, you're all kicking butt, Priscilla. Like, oh, thank you. Thank you. I get so excited when I see like what you put out. Oh, thank you. Both of you. Both of you. Although, I need to snag me bonito. I always miss out. People are too fast. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> I need to be faster. I need to be like you guys. You guys are freaking machines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it helps with us, so we split the work. <laughs> yeah, but still, it's like you guys are, are everywhere. You're covering everything at the same pace, at the same rate. So it's like you guys are learning the sculpting or like the digital or just like the Claudia, uh, the cloud wave. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I mean, those are two things. We got Claudia and we got the cloud. Wave. <laughs> <laughs> like, but it's yeah. like, yeah, you guys are going and going. And then it's just, yeah, it's exciting to see all the progress that you guys are making and just seeing more of your work out there, especially like with, the, I don't know what it's called, but your vinyl toy. What is it? What is the name of it? It's the Hammerhead Chanel. Okay, the hammerhead snail. Yeah, so freaking cute. It's the, totally you guys. Thank you. We have the painted prototype here if you want to see it. Yes, of course we want to see it. Yes. All right, let's see. How did it even come about? Okay, so here we go. Um, So the story, well, the thing is, this is going to be uh, our first um, co-produced vinyl with Strange Cat Toys. Um, as we've all heard, vinyl can be very expensive. So it's always like a, mm -hmm. um, like a dream we want to have, what to do with vinyl. Um, but luckily, Corey from Street he had approached us like wanting to make something with us. And at first we were like, we weren't sure on what, like there was another design discussed, but we were just, it was too close to something we already made in resin. Yeah. So we were like, oh, let's just like, wait, let's think on this. Let's see if we come up with something else. So Gino, he designed this little character. It's called the Hammerhead Snail. So it's basically like a snail with a hammerhead shark, like head and little fins and stuff. And we show Corey <laughs> Strange Cat. And we're like, hey, what do you think? Do you, do you like to design? He's like, he really liked it. He's like, yeah, let's do it. Let's make it. And we're like, okay, cool. And uh, working with nice. us, it's um, it's a fifty-fifty partnership. So um, he handles like the business side, the factory side, the selling of the product side and we do all the creative stuff and uh, financially it's split 50 50 so we, we have uh, an investment in this as well mm -hmm. and um so yeah we're like basically like partners in it which is really cool because he's invested in doing the best job he can and we're also invested uh in doing the best we can mm -hmm. it's not like he's producing it all and then mm -hmm. we just come back and we just like wait for him to like sell them it's like no we, we all have like teeth in the game we're all excited to work together and yeah it just it seems quicker than i thought the process took because <laughs> like last year we sent them the digital uh file for the for the project and this year like a month ago we already saw the a couple months weeks ago we saw the first test pool of the vinyl oh my so, gosh oh wow yeah it was really quick and i we had a 3d printed version <laughs> that um, we got done locally from Fab Lab El Paso and we designed some colorways and the one we really liked first, uh, I painted it on the 3D, uh, the 3D print as, as mm. a, I don't know how my lighting is in here. Let me turn. So here is the color. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Yeah, I painted this. The color is amazing. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. So I think you were all only the second set of people to see this. We showed it on our pop shop. And of course, Corey's seen it. He sent this to the factory to see if, how, if they can uh, recreate it. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, so hopefully this will be the first first of three colorways. And if those three do good, then hopefully we'll, we'll get to do more. But yeah, there he is. Hammerhead Snail. It's so freaking cute. I think the comments. And then the well, one of the versions. The what? Well, one of the versions that come out first will be a DIY. Uh, they, I'm hoping. I don't know if there will ever be DIY. It's something we have to uh, talk with Corey. This is, is like everything like that uh, gets discussed together. Uh, we do like want. It'd be cool to have like a snail show one day where we get like people to customize them. Mm -hmm. We do mm -hmm. that 
um, once production starts on them, we are able to purchase uh, blanks ourselves. So we can have to, to customize and to put out there. But first it will be okay. the colorways. And uh, I think there is option for stores to hop in and get um, special colorways too. But mm -hmm. that's something that I'm not um, privy. I don't know that side of it. So that's something that maybe will come up in the future. And maybe we'll just have like a bunch of Chanel's running around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully. That platform is so cute. How did you guys decide on it? Like, how did it happen? <laughs> he just designed it and he was like, what do you think of this? And I was like, oh, it's cute, right? And we're telling you, right, Gina? She just said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him we said good morning. <laughs> I thought he was still in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you might hear a lot of morning sounds, like our son's eating his oatmeal, watching cartoons, and Gino's editing our um, our vlog, which we haven't posted in a long time since last year. So we're going to have a new vlog video. Ghost oh, nice. out. But yeah, it just something he designed, and he, he showed it to me. I thought it was freaking adorable. Started with a sketch, and then uh, he went, and he just 3D sculpted it. Like, I'm just going to sculpt this. And then once uh, we showed Corey and he, he was like, yeah, that, yes, it's cool. We can do this. Gino refined the sculpt a little bit more and then it was off and that was it. It's, it was one of those things where we didn't think too much of it. I think if you start to try and think too much about it, you might get in your head or things might come up. Yeah. It'll prolong the process. But this was just kind of like, it just felt right. And we just yeah. like, we sent it. We're like, all right, let's just do this. Like, we like check our bank account. Okay, we could. We think we could do this. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, we can't make excuses. We just gotta like go for it. Like, yeah, but the, right. If this opportunity came up like two, three years ago, we would have been like, ah, we just we can't. We like, like we can just can't put that much of our uh, our income into this. But it just it just all happened at the right time, and the the yeah, the dream and the goal. Hopefully it does well. So that first investment money, uh, me, me and Gina talked about it. We basically look at it like that money is no longer ours. That money mm -hmm. is always going to keep going back. So we hope it does good. So we could just, okay, now let's either make more or let's make a new thing with that that money that's no it's longer going to be there to like whoop, whoop, float around. So that's the that's, yeah. that's dream. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. It just keeps building more toys and creating more. And yeah. Juan Panda said, gotta take a chance on yourself. Yes. Yeah. It's absolutely. So sure. Yeah. You, you might get lucky and someone will take a chance on you, but you gotta take a chance on yourself first, I think. Yeah. And you said it perfectly with getting out of your head. I think that's one thing where it's like, <laughs> I haven't come up with original characters that much apart from Burrito and Octopug because I get in my head and I'm like, no, no, no let's go a different direction. And so I keep doing that with every new project. And it's like, I just need to commit to it and make more. <laughs> and I, I love, like, I didn't, I, I, I didn't realize that those two were like, um, ones that were just like solely yours. I thought you, I don't know why I thought you had more, but that being said, like burrito is my favorite. So I'll, I feel like go with your instinct, like, put your do your original uh designs out there because burrito is my favorite like i fell in love with burrito like the moment i saw it i was like this is great design and yeah. super cute and it reads really well like you know what it is right away so mm. yeah yeah i think digital burrito is one of a great piece oh thank you thank you i think digital also helps that like speed that process along when i was doing by hand it would take me a while. I've got a pile of, like, I gave up and moved on because of the oh. overanalyzing. Because you're sculpting through it, right? And so it's like you're building, you're working. Digital, you can see the idea right away. You can visualize it. So I feel like that helps tremendously. Are you using uh, Nomad? Nomad. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. I think it's a great tool that this now. Like, I mean, I don't do the 3D sculpting. I've tried. Gino showed me. And uh, it was actually intu a pretty intuitive. You did Perla. No, but I did Perla on ZBrush. Uh -huh. And then I bailed. <laughs> 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 and then he recovered her como. I mean, Perla is amazing. I love her. Kind of... <laughs> like, she was my practical. I sculpted her 
well, doing tutorials. And that's what she came about. Uh, actually, her link were, we already had a 3D form. It's the mm. form we use for a lot of our toys. So I had the 3D form of like the legs and the body shape. And then her dress and head was built on top. But that was all done with me teaching myself. So videos and taking notes and practicing. And then I was like, oh, I think I'm done. And then I didn't sculpt after that. So when I tried to go back to it, I forgot all my hotkeys. I forgot everything. And I was like, ah, I'm not going to remember. No. <laughs> yes, I'm proud of it, which is really cool. And Gino, she, there's version one. And now we have version one we have now. It's version two. Gino helped me, like, um, fix the face a little bit, like, the size of the mouth and the shape of the eyes. Just tweaked a little bit from my original version. And so that was cool. <laughs> That's awesome. And Claudia, he made. Will you her. ever get back to 3D sculpting? Uh, maybe, maybe in the future. Uh, I had some other pieces. Maybe it's just going to be this thing where I try and do a little crude version. And then I'm like, okay, Gino, <laughs> make it better. <laughs> yeah, help me save it. <laughs> I'm more like, um, what's cool is like, I started more which is something i used to do before ghost fox but like not very well <laughs> so i started doing that more along with painting toys so uh i feel like i'm just gonna keep focusing on uh getting my illustrating better in 2d and then who knows about the 3d in the future like i not that because i know 3d is not my strong point but that's something that i could grow on like that's a cool goal but this 2D is like, it's really speaking to me, like my creative, um, my creative heart. So mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to that a little bit more and see, see where that goes. Yeah. Yeah, digital is definitely a challenge. I think I started doing more of it in the last year. And yeah, it's like, it's, and then you try and go back to tra traditional and it's just, they're totally different. So learning digital, yeah. <laughs> I'm like just thinking about each 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 thing and it's like you guys are a total powerhouse you guys have it all down <laughs> so it's just amazing yeah to see everything that you guys come out with yeah you guys compliment each other so well and that's hard to come by oh thank you yeah it's it's working with Gino's like it's one of the easiest things like I, I've worked in other groups other teams and um it's you know it can it's either gonna work or it's not so sometimes it doesn't flow mm -hmm. and uh with Gina it's just ever since we got together like we tried to build some from day one um like we started working from his sister's garage he was showing me the process of like um casting uh, I was like super scared of the air of the air compressor. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the Me pressure too. pot. I was scared of the air compressor. <laughs> Me too. Uh -huh. <laughs> we always were trying to figure out what we wanted to. Do. At first, we thought we'd do um, a sculpture because I started. I was a plush artist before doing box toys and Gino sculpted. So we thought the thing where the sculpted face on the plush body um oh, we have oh that's I can put my yeah let's see let's see the plushies aren't easy either like I tried making a, a cat teddy bear this thing came out hideous like the arms were all <laughs> My plush, I put arms because I can never do arms. I was like, okay, style is no arms. <laughs> <laughs> That's why, like, Parapa has no arms because I was like, I'm going to model her after my plushes. She has no oh, arms. Oh, I love it. I didn't even think about that. That's amazing. Yeah. So here's a piece. Uh, this was for uh, an, a local art show. I think it was like a, a circus freak show. This is a little different when I what I did normally because normally I would do little felt um, monsters stuff like that. But this little this little circuit boy oh in my your gosh, he's oh. supposed to look like vintagey. Yeah, and, and yeah. He has like the parallel dress body, no arms. 
he's, I don't know if you hear that. He's waited. So he oh, can, like, nice. Um, so yeah. It stands. He never That's sold, nice. So he's in my collection. Actually, this is probably one of the few plushes that I've um, kept or that yes. never sold. So it's mine forever. It's, I'm not going to sell it at this point. Yeah, he's so cute. How long, how long would something like that take to, to build and sew and... I'm not sure. I think it's hard to say. Um, something like that, that I don't have a pattern for and I'm just kind of winging it, could be like a day or two of like work and figuring it out. But the plush I used to make, uh, I actually got down to a rhythm where I would just like, it was more like a line. So I, it, I would like trace everything and then cut everything and then have piles and then just sit there watching TV, YouTube, everything, and just, like, at one point, I'm just, like, on autopilot. Like, yeah. Like, I actually, <laughs> did, I actually did Designer Con in 2014 when it was in Anaheim. No, Anaheim? No, Pasadena. Pasadena. Mm -hmm. But I was new. I didn't even really know Designer Toys. I just heard about it, and I was like, ooh, I want to, like, do it. I didn't know a lot of any of the artists. Uh, so I, I went with my plush under a completely different name. And I think I made over 100 plush for that show. It was not a successful show. <laughs> 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 well, I think it was too, at the time, I think my, my style and everything was just too random. I didn't have a nice booth set up. I think like I made barely over breaking even, breaking over mm. the booth table, which at that yeah. time, the was the booth was only three hundred dollars at that time, which I can't even believe. Like, that's great. Mm -hmm. But I barely did that. Um, luckily, it was at the time. Luckily, I wasn't like much. Uh, not like when we went with Ghost Fox and we're like, "Oh my god, I hope we make some money." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once the more we started doing Ghost Fox and. Uh, I just had never really painted toys before, so that's when I really started painting. And the more I did, I fell in love with it. And I this, this is my, this is like, I did it. I love doing it. And that's the phone keeps cutting out. Oh, me? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't catch the last part that you said. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, no, it just, the more I the less I sew so now I like hardly sew at all but I'm not discounting doing it again it just takes yeah. a lot it's messy like the stuff I'm already a messy uh, creator as it <laughs> so I then I would just add yeah yeah especially if you have that assembly line out yeah that would be I could picture that taking up a whole section in itself oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> And when you sewed, you sewed by hand or by machine? Mostly by hand. There'll be some details like, like I do these bunnies that have like a collar. So I'll just run, run mm -hmm. the collar real quick. Like, whoop. but the form, I'm there like, I guess it's called a or whip stitch. I'm just there doing like the whole, whole thing by hand. Yeah. That's that it. in itself takes a long time. <laughs> yeah, I could. I, I mean, I got pretty fast at it, but it's still it's still a process. Because then you gotta still stuff it afterwards, and yeah, it's a, it's a whole. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty neat. So then you transitioned from plushies to designer toys. Is there anything else? And then you're also you said incorporating NFTs. Is there anything else that you want to explore or consider? Um, surprise, I'm not. Um, you know, are also musicians, so he's been finishing up songs he has, he's been putting them out um, one by one. Uh, he goes by Sculptor Geist, so you could find him on that camp. I was also a musician for a long time. I don't really have plans on like uh, again, and we the tour like, up West Coast to all Oregon and Seattle and that's a whole rough rough life. That's a young person's game. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I did uh finally have my I put my base amp under my work table. So I do hope to just like even just to degas like 
pick it up again and play and and not forget. Just, Even though I know, like, just do it for fun. Yeah, I, I think the creative stuff I want to do is going to be more for fun. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like mm -hmm. when I picked up something creative as a hobby, it turned into like work, like a job, like in a good way. Like it, it became monetized, and I I want some creative stuff that's just to just for the sake of doing. It, so yeah, just as an outlet, exactly. Yeah, I want to pick up. Yeah, decompress. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Does Ollie want to do instruments at all? Actually, yeah, he's really good at, um, you know, got him a, like, like this little drum. He you can tell, like, he's, he has the drummer mind. And the way he picks it off, picks, uh, he, like, gets the sticks. He does, like, his wrist like that, which is, like, what, how are you supposed to drum? Instead of being like, ah! He's just like, oh, like, nice. Yeah. And uh, he has good rhythm, and we have him a little mini guitar, but he's still not there yet. But I think he may not like do the drawing or painting stuff, but I think for sure tell music. Music and dance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And now soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine, like, with the other parents, when me and Gino, like, rolled up onto the soccer field, like, dressed like this and Gino with his like long hair and then just like yeah it's like who are these people <laughs> <laughs> I love it it's all right it's all right embrace your inner Adams family yeah. it's yes. all right <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it was, it was so it, it felt really cool to be out there like I, we love doing little family things like that. like we'll do something like that and we're like oh my god we're a little family like it's so fun we're just like <laughs> Getting all the songs with Ollie's out there, like having a good time, and yeah. And he's right here next to me. Go. Uh, good morning. Hey. Good morning, Papa. Good morning. <laughs> 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 he's a mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. So, you've got. The Perla artist call that you put out recently. Yeah. That's exciting. Oh my gosh, it got so much traction too. It was very overwhelming. <laughs> that was amazing though. Yeah. <laughs> I know I talked about Perla before, but kind of wanted, I had this idea of like uh, an all women show with Perla, but it kind of grew more like, um, I didn't want to limit limited just because like I, I know Perla's girly she's in the dress and stuff like that I I want to because like for example like say Gino right I know he would do something great with a Perla and I shouldn't be afraid and not that I was but it's like one of those things like you, you shouldn't be afraid to ask like um uh, guys to customize this really girly figure mm -hmm. so I want to I want to response was so big and uh it's very awesome how so many people wanted to have one it's probably gonna end up being split uh there's probably gonna have to be several parallel shows i don't know oh that's exciting or how that's gonna happen but that makes it even better yes so if you keep mm -hmm. like so um i'm like super excited because parallel i don't know i think i have one if anyone doesn't know what parallel is she has a, a lot of surface space on her dress. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of room yeah. to paint whatever you want. But it's like, I want people, oh, oh, things are falling. I, I don't want people to oh, no. be limited um, to just paint only. If someone wants to sculpt on her, that's cool. If someone wants to make her like gnarly, like a gnarly pair, that's cool too. I just really want the artist to do their thing. Like, I don't want to say like, Oh, keep her clean, keep her cute. Like, no, like, do whatever you want. She's here. There's one that we saw on Friday. Uh, you know, little red writing. You can see. Oh, oh my Aww. gosh, how cute. She sculpted the little hood and the little cape. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and that goes perfect. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it does. <laughs> That's super cute. So we're, we're still deciding. Oh, here's another one. A little Perla in a beach dress. <gasps> oh, oh, look at that. 
Oh my gosh, and those details. <laughs> yeah, she has so many possibilities. That's what I love about her. And like you said, you've got that blank space. Her dress isn't too cutesy. You can take it any which way, just like how they made the cape. Very flat. It's just like, yeah. It's just very simple. She has the collar, but I mean, even if someone uh want, wanted to, they could easily like grind down or yeah. sand the collar to make it a flat surface or build on top of it. Mm. So we're like uh either September. Probably looking at September a long time. Like I don't I would send these out. I still haven't like um talked on a list. I have a wish list, Gina has a wish list, and then we're gonna pull from everyone who was interested. And I know I mean my top wish list was Priscilla. Like you're the first person that I thought of, you're the first person that I talked to. <laughs> So that's not surprising, <laughs> dude. When you told me about her, I was like, "Of course, yes, sign me up." <laughs> and you guys have curated shows before too, right? Because I forgot the name of your your pigeon platform. I remember seeing that years ago too. Oh yeah, the Pinto Pigeon. So thank you. Uh, yeah. Locally, we like to. That's why I like. So I love. It keeps it keeps breaking out. I'm not sure. I'm hearing like a feedback. Yeah. Are, like, you, are you hearing it too? I, it's yes. Like, he, can you see if you can mute? I'll mute too. Let's see. Is that better? Okay. So um, yeah, Pinto Pigeon was uh, one of our early uh, resident boys. So local now past not really a big not a lot of people know about my toy. So have some artists thought let's put on a cutting show with Pinto with local artists. Um and then since we have a good relationship with our big local uh, museum of art, they agreed to host it in their store, their little shop where they sell like all the goodies. And yeah, it was, um, what was it called? I forgot what the show was called. Uh, yeah, it's like my brain already forgot. But it went really well. All the artists that participated were like, this is a really cool thing, like to paint the toys. And we tied it in locally. So the prompt was, you either have to customize it to be like a local theme of our city or based off a piece in the art museum. Because that's how we we ha got them to agree, like, this is how we're going to uh, integrate this with your museum. So a lot of cool pieces. We did have two artists that weren't from um, El Paso participate. We had Mumbat, um, who we love Mumbat. We had her participate because she was one of the first person that invited us to do our first custom. She was our first custom show. We, we just met her at Designer Con in 2018. And right away, she gave us a shoot me and was like, you want to be in the show? And we're like, yeah, cool, our first show. And then also, Allison uh, Bamcat, we met her also in 2018, and she participated. And I, I don't remember how that came about, but every other artist was local. It went good. A lot of them sold, so that made the artist excited and happy. And we haven't done it since locally, but we've we also curated... Uh, just general gallery shows. We used to do that um, in 2019. I think we did several themed group art shows because the building we live in has a gallery on the first floor. This is an art space, uh, resident living, live workspace. So we did like a video game art show. We did a, we collaborated with our local film fest and we did a couple art shows that were themed. And it was a lot of fun, but a lot of work. And we haven't done one since uh, 2019. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it takes so much work. I'm like contemplating everything that's going to go into to curating an event and getting all these artists on the same page and everything. So that's pretty awesome. But at least at the same time, you guys got to see that beforehand. And then when you implement your own, your own platform, your own toys, you kind of already know how to function in that world. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. When we started doing uh gallery like group shows with the toys, we were like, we get we get what goes into like putting on a show. So we mm -hmm. you know try to be 
we try to be on time and we try to have good communication and all that stuff because the putting on the shows that's that's like it's not that hard but the hardest part is like you said wrangling so many artists and for the most part everyone was cool we have like we have a very easy uh policy of just like just be cool with each other and communicate that's it communicate and uh if there's a someone who's a mul multiple offender we just we like you still as a person, but you can't you can't do the shows anymore. I'm sorry, just <laughs> just for our sanity. Yeah, we weren't taking any uh, commission from the pieces either. We weren't taking percentage because we had pieces in the show too. So we figured our piece if our piece sells us home maker money, and we just wanted to build community mm. and we want to have the experience of putting the shows on. And you know, we got to use the gallery for free since we live here. And that's it. All we ask is be cool and, t and communicate, and we'll have a good time. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Because that's hard to do. That's hard to get people to just be on one page, be able to communicate. Not everybody likes to communicate. <laughs> and you were able to get it done, and you're still able to get it done. Yeah. We, we like to, we, we even stress like, it's not personal. Like, it could be someone we really like and are good friends with. But if I had sent you like a bunch of messages and I don't hear from you in the shows tomorrow, like I don't think it's gonna work out to do another one. But I still like you as a person, and we're still we'll still be fr if you'll have me, we'll still be friends and all this stuff. Like it's really this thing you can <laughs> separate like the the personal mm -hmm. and uh and, like I said, luckily it went pretty smooth. Maybe we had one person that we never asked back, but it was someone we didn't personally know. It was like a friend of a friend, and um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone got sexy and all this stuff, and and uh, his piece still sold, which I was like, okay, cool. Like, he didn't want to come hang it up, even though that was part of the rule, come hang your art. Mm -hmm. So we just like, okay, we put it there, and it sold, and I was like, congrats, you sold, here's your money, but you, that's it. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> but that was it. Everyone else, everyone we know, people that live in the same building as us, people we've known for years. Everyone's super cool. Yeah, it was awesome. We, we're not discounting doing it again. It's just the yeah. timing right because where we are work-wise now, we didn't have as much back then. That's why we were able to do both. So, but mm -hmm. It sounds like you have a good community of artists there as well. I mean, not just in the building, mm -hmm. but in the city. Is it, um, is it like that? Or it's uh it's hard to go. i mean of course with the pandemic it's kind of like everyone just went and did their own things it's kind of splintered but since doing art for so long in gino and the community we've met a lot of people through the years and they're all different like we know tattoo artists we know um muralists um all sorts of musicians 2d artists and we started meeting some more 3d artists um some metalsmiths some jewelers like we just met a lot of people and I'd say like the art scene here um it's it's more splintered a lot of times like in groups like they'll have like when there's shows it focuses on on like one thing like oh the muralists are having a show or mm -hmm. um the people mm -hmm. or fine artists are having a show and stuff like that and then every now and then you'll get shows that pop up or everyone comes together and that's what we try to do we didn't want to limit like only these pe type of come and like you do jewelry put something up um our friend um paulina rosas designs and her her boyfriend alex metalworks they were in our video game art show and they created these little like keys that were like jewelry pins that went with the game zelda which was cool it's like they still did their thing but to the theme um i don't I haven't experienced a lot of attitude in the local art scene, but I don't think we've been in it. Like, we don't think we um, have been around enough pe these like shows and scenes in the last couple of years. So I honestly can't speak to how it is. I just mm -hmm. haven't heard it terribly bad. So I'm going to assume everyone's cool out there. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think when I was that was a more like you could feel and see like like it wasn't really like a community it, that was more like a scene like you show up you to play 
a band plays and as soon as they're done, they like they go outside or they leave. Like they don't stay to support the other local bands. So it's always like that or you know, yeah. like like ooh, I'm better than or so yeah, in the music scene I did see that a lot. I have not seen that here. Um and yeah, I'm happy for that. I, I do wish there was a bigger toy community here, so which that's one of our goals to try and like expose people and grow that and everything. But we're very happy being part of the toy community online because we get to do this. We get to, we can still talk through digitally and exactly. The yeah, has opened up to us, and now with Discord, it's like it might not be here, like, but it still exists, like you know, in the internet world, and that that's just that's just as good. It's fine. We can just we can still have dreams. And in the internet world, it touches everywhere. It goes all over the world. Exactly. Yeah. I know, right? Just thinking about the friends that I've made overseas, it's like they're that would have never happened. Yeah. No, I I know like the the pandemic at the beginning was like a very hard time and being everyone being quarantined, but I felt like a lot of that kind of stuff really blossomed in that time where we all came together like more like let's interact like when bunny mischief had her like talks every week like that was so cool that got us to meet a lot of people yeah. and that just like it, that time really because we were all just home so that all brought us together and maybe a lot of us are more shy sometimes but it kind of brought us out and like got to like, talk more with people like face to face uh through the camera and and then pop shop came that came, came to our lives during the pandemic and you know, that opened up a whole nother, instead of going to markets or the markets that were closed, we were able to do that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, totally embrace, totally embrace the digital, the digital part of, of the, our art life. Cause, yeah, it's what's helping us grow and connect. I know, right? Isn't that ironic, though? It's like it's, we're connecting more than we would have in person. But oh. we're, yeah, virtually. <laughs> Maybe because it made you have to stop and actually kind of focus more on one thing than have your focus split between all these different things and trying to make things happen like now it's literally just you your art how can I put it out there because I can't put it out there physically I think yeah. that's a great point yeah I think it was like that before um we had a lot of different like we would sell at the farmer's market and we would also be teaching artists there and do the crafts. And we had our stuff in the museum store and we would teach at the museum and, and this, this and that and everything. And then when the pandemic hit all that closed, it was just like, Whoop! all of it was gone. And we're just like, at plus the toy, like, ah, okay. Uh, it's all going to go into this one, all the toys. And we, first we didn't know how to, we'll just do shop drops. And we just focus and, which was, it was bad at the time. We were in freak out mode, like, ah, like half our income just like gone. Like, mm -hmm. and it, I think it really did light something under us where like, we didn't even realize how much we just went into like work mode. <laughs> I think it's just like a blur. We just started, yeah. ah, work <laughs> <laughs> And look at what you were able to create in that time. Yeah. Like everything you guys have done is amazing. And the way you have grown is insane and you continue to grow thank you yeah i don't I, i'm happy i'm happy to be here i it's a blur but i'm, I'm super happy and it's you know, <laughs> the, support of the support of people who buy from us, people who just like artists it's very, very oh, it's cutting out again i didn't hear the last part oh okay i was just saying it, it feels it feels good and it's motivating like to be uh to talk with other artists and like how encouraging other artists are like we, we just support each other like mm -hmm. the best community we've been a part of i'm sure there's toy people out there that are like you know kind of like eh, not supportive and not uh you know loving but i, I haven't met them and if i do they're not going to be in my life very long so. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be invited again <laughs> <laughs> the love of the community buyers artists bloggers all that it just keeps us going and it, it, it's part of the success it's like we we can't do this without everyone together it's not it's just us making our apartment all day 
uh, painting all day. <laughs> you need that community. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we'll help you, and it's yeah. We're very thankful to everyone. So on that note, we've got you've got your Discord. Do you want to plug anything? Do you want to talk about ways to get a hold of you? And we're well, I mean, you guys can see in the drop down if you have, you're not following Ghost Fox Toys, get on it. But <laughs> do you want to tell the folks about the Discord, how to find it, or? Yeah, totally. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're we're still we still post on Instagram. Sometimes we forget. <laughs> You know, we're 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 those got this, this algorithm that like show thirty people are <laughs> so yeah. Come to our Discord. Um, the link is in our profile. If it doesn't work because those links do expire, just mm -hmm. DM us and we'll send you the most recent. Link. Uh, it's a fun place where oh hold on, <laughs> my our son's playing with a uh, styrofoam and it's really loud. <laughs> 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 Did he make swords or what is he doing? <laughs> he's putting styrofoam boards and he's like karate up in there. Alright, they're taking it. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I'm trying to keep my mom face on like. <laughs> I'm trying it. to do the the look out of the corner of the eye, uh -huh. like. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> channels we talk about toys we talk about video games music food your pets you can come share your art if you have a drop if you just want to share um gino's been doing this cool thing where he's putting free coloring pages of his art up for you to download and color digitally or physically we even ran a contest if you did the coloring page for our, for our easter one it was called show us your huevos if you did one and you submitted it in our discord you were entered to win one of our custom Roddy Bunnies. Uh, we're doing giveaways. We're doing exclusive drops, uh, exclusive lottos to buy. You can come talk as much as you want. If you just want to read, you just want to creep around and read, that's fine too. So Discord's where it's at. Uh, Pop Shop Live, that's our main selling platform. We love interacting. As you could tell, I could talk a lot. Get me on the camera and I could talk a lot. You can <laughs> something happens to my brain and I get very shy and I can't talk. I'm just like, uh. but if it's video, I'm just like, da -da 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 -da, let's do this. <laughs> so pop shop live, um, download the app. You can find us with the code G F toys. We have another show in two weeks. So I know normally we do once a month and this one's coming up pretty soon, but the next pop shop is going to be my birthday pop shop. Oh, Woo! My birthday's on Cinco de Mayo. Our pop shop will be the next hey. on May 6th. So oh, okay. we want, want to bring back the game, do more games on our more giveaway. So that's going to be gonna bring all that stuff back. Time. We've been planning like a piñata breaking game for that. So oh, that would be so fun. Up in five years. I think we're finally going to break it on the pop shop. So this two weeks, we're going to start making stuff for that soon. What else? Yeah, that's basically it. Go to our profile. You'll see our links. We have our OpenSea if you're into NFTs, if that's your thing. We have some up. And they're very, you know, they're very affordable. We just want people to, to have our art. It's like 15 bucks. If that's what you're into, it's there. And oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's... I, I, it's pretty... It's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else. Just... Just find us on socials and, and you'll see what's coming up. We're still like, we're still coming down from the last show because we know we have to pack everything. And mm -hmm. it's like, chaos to do that. <laughs> Sunday, it's like, okay, we worked all this week. Now we should clean that. <laughs> so today's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm super happy. Of course. Thank you for coming to hang out with us. This is what I mean about Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you for sharing your stories with us. Thank you for 
giving us your little snippets of what's to come. We appreciate it so much. I'm sure the box did as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you're not following Ghost Fox Toys, get on it now and go check out the Discord. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> I know. I, I loved seeing the uh, show us your levels. <laughs> submissions <laughs> were amazing. <laughs> Just the name alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything else ladies we're already at an hour went by fast <laughs> that was super fast <laughs> <laughs> why do they seem to get faster and faster i know <laughs> i think i learned that i can talk for an hour that's crazy <laughs> yeah for real because we had to mute for a minute <laughs> and you were just going <laughs> i love it what the long answer or really long answer <laughs> <laughs> the really 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 long one <laughs> all of them all of it. <laughs> Well, no, this was super fun. Was I really fun. appreciate you coming on and hanging out with us. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy yeah. your Sunday. <laughs> yes, enjoy your Sunday. <laughs> you need rest, Jesse. You've been up for 25 hours driving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, thank you guys for hanging out with us. Thank you again, Michelle, for telling us about your work and telling us what's to come. Again, everybody follow on Discord if you're not already following them on Instagram. Are you guys on, uh, do you guys have any forums on Facebook or anything like that? Or it's predominantly just Discord? Well, we have a Facebook group use it because they never show our post to anyone. <laughs> We're on Twitter. <laughs> uh, but that, that's, Twitter is where we share a lot of the NFT stuff because that's okay. where the NFT community so go to our twitter we post the toy stuff too sometimes but whatever's there for toys you'll see on instagram or discord okay so, yeah. awesome all right ladies we'll have a good sunday thank you again to the box for everybody that hung out with us <laughs> bye <laughs> have a good one bye we appreciate you yeah, bye yes. bye <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.